You can see that Pooley Bridge was lost completely during the recent flood uh, event. Um, what we're doing now is to pick the debris from the old bridge out of the river, you can see behind me, and that's preparatory to putting in a temporary road bridge which we expect to have in by Easter. Uh, the construction for that will require us to put in some temporary concrete abutments on either side of the river behind where the existing abutments are. Uh, the new bridge is a modular construction, steel construction, which will be assembled on the west side of the river and either launched across the river uh, from this side to land on the other or craned in. The concrete abutments are to bear the weight of the temporary road bridge. Uh, whether they stay or whether they're removed as part of the construction of the permanent bridge will depend on the design of the permanent bridge. What we will need to do is to take into account the technical requirements of, for instance, the Environment Agency, uh, what the Highway Authority ourselves would like to see in, in terms of functionality. Uh, Historic England and the uh, Lake District National Park will all have a part to play in specifying the new bridge. And we're very keen to engage with local community about what their hopes are uh, and what they expect the bridge to deliver for them. We're being very careful about how much rock we move at any particular time. We're keeping a very close eye on water levels in the river as we move stone because what we don't want to happen is for water to be released suddenly to scour out the river base or to wash down the river and cause damage further down. One of the things we're particularly keen to do is to salvage stone that might be reusable from the historic bridge uh, and might be used in the construction of a new bridge or as, uh, as part of a memorial uh, installation. We're also looking for uh, some date stones which are known to have been on the original bridge and they're somewhere in amongst the rubble behind us. Uh, we've successfully managed to retrieve part of that stone now um, but we're keeping again a close eye to see if we can find the rest of that. The stone arch bridge collapses really quickly with very little warning so there was a sound of falling masonry and the bridge collapsed. So it's really critically important that people are aware that the sign such as this behind me which advises people to keep off closed structures really for their own safety.